Antonio, first off, congratulations. And I got to ask, General Manager Mike May, I kind of alluded to it in your press conference earlier, saying that the Raiders got involved in the process of acquiring you kind of late on Friday. At what point did you think, like, hey, I could actually end up in the silver and black? <laughs> I always felt that it could be a great opportunity. Uh, obviously, playing here last year with the Steelers, me having a, a lot of moments with Derek Carr uh, at the Pro Bowl uh, through experience meeting him. So I always felt like it was a good fit and a great opportunity for uh, Mr. Grant, John Gruden here, Coach Gruden here. Um, just an awesome opportunity. Raider Nations, I'm here. I'm extremely grateful and excited to be a part of something special. We've seen you on social the past couple of days, looking excited and you know, really fired up for the next chapter of your career. What makes this place right now a perfect fit for Antonio Brown? I think everyone's excited about the new Oakland Raiders, uh, the energy, the uh, passion, and uh, to get the black hole and the fans excited to how they used to be. So I'm excited for all those opportunities, all those challenges now here uh, to move forward and uh, get the organization where we think it should be. A lot of great players come to Oakland, yeah. it's crazy. When you think the Raiders, who's your favorite Raider and who are some of the guys that kind of come to mind as being those prototypical guys who are the silver and black? I would say probably Charles Wilson. Uh, he's a guy who exemplify uh, what the Raiders stand for when I think about the Oakland Raiders. Obviously, there's been so many tremendous great players that come through here. Uh, obviously, Bo Jackson, Jerry Rice, Tim Brown, Fred Blitnikoff, uh, Warren Sapp, go on and on. But for me, uh, possibly Charles Woods. How big of a role did Derek Carr play in you wanting to be here and catching passes from number four? I know you guys are familiar with each other a little bit. Well, he, he played a major role in, in that factor. Uh, obviously, him texting me, uh, being a part of the process. Uh, he's an open book man, a great guy, a great leader, and one of those guys you want to be around. You know, Derek, a Pro Bowl guy, a guy a couple of years removed from being MVP candidate in this league. What about Derek makes him so good? How, why is he so effective as a quarterback? I think he's a young, hungry player. Uh, he works at it. Uh, he wants to be great. And uh, I think he's uh, at a point where he's ready to take this thing to the next level. You know, you post on Instagram the other day, it was that clip of Coach Gruden talking about you prior to the Steelers game last year. And one of the hashtags that you put at the end was, show me the way, Coach. And I thought that was interesting, and I'm curious why you chose that one uh, to post. Obviously, Coach Gruden has been coaching a long time. He, uh, he done seen the game from so many uh, facets, you know, from him being the coach, from him taking a step back and uh, being the analyst and studying the game. So, obviously, he done seen guys, he coached guys like Tim Brown, guys like Jerry Rice some of the great guys uh, in NFL history. So I know he knows what it takes. Uh, those guys played lots and lots of years. You know, Jerry Rice, 18 years, Tim Brown, 15, 16 years. So I think he know the method of, you know, how to keep receivers fresh, you know, how to get them to the game, how to prolong their career. And when you have a coach who have that type of knowledge, it's like as a player, you want to be around that because that help you be even more successful. You know, I saw on Twitter that Tim Brown actually reached out to you. Yeah, yeah. What was that moment like? And as a guy, obviously you know your history. That must have been yeah, pretty yeah. cool to see number 81 reach out. Absolutely, man. I, st I started to get his number, but now I said, <laughs> you know, I can't do it because, I mean, he's such a great player. But for him even taking the opportunity to reach out, guys like Tim Brown, guys like Charles Wooshin, uh, it's been nothing but uh, a welcoming experience for me for being here in Oakland. Uh, I'm excited about the process, and I'm just, uh, Ready to get to work. I've watched you practice, and that's one of the reasons you're here. You get to meet the coaches. You get to see Mike Mayock. I mean, what was the energy like for you coming to walking through these halls for the first time and seeing what you know the places can be your new home for the next year? Well, just refreshing. You know, being able to know I'm gonna be here, uh, trying to get familiar with you know the hallways. The, you know, what I mean, the coaches, uh, just the whole environment, just uh, soaking in, and I'm just ready to work in water and water and, and see myself grow. I like that. A little light right <laughs> there. You know, you go from one historic franchise to another here in Oakland, from Pittsburgh to yeah. the Silver and Black. And you've played here, you've played at the Coliseum. Yeah. It's got to be nice for you now to have yeah. Raider Nation on your side of things now. Yeah. Well, it's been an amazing experience. Uh, I've been seeing fans all over showing me nothing but love. And you know, I try to give it back with how I treat them and what I give back to them. So, you know, it's been love so far, and I'm looking forward to move forward.